Lady head is really hard. My threats are not working. She did another cartoon. What will it take to stop her? Let me focus on getting all Kells supporters together to do a walk for Kells. In the background I will work on a plan. Putting those women on her backfired. Kells is soon to be transferred to New York to face trial on federal charges. I need to refocus my energy. I don't give a damn about Robert Sylvester Kelly, because he is a dope dealing singer who had sex with minors. All he is to me is a money grab. I need to convince everyone on Kel's side to donate to my channel, so I can pay my bills, travel to protest, eat, and purchase clothing. This needs to be big. The more bloggers I get blasting this message will be the higher income potential I can get. Even though I slam Bruce and Carrie, I need them on my team now. Because blood is thicker than mud now all of a sudden. I need them to believe my bullshit. Anyone who knows Bruce and Carrie, please ask them to call me. We got to get them on board for this Kells Unite protest. I know they are probably mad, because I accused them of being crackheads and said they are not for R. Kelly. I totally disregarded their familial relationship. You live and you learn friends from your mistakes but it ain't too late to say sorry. We need more than 10 people to represent Kells, and the only way we are going to do that is by pretending to have a united front. Dabowski won't put our differences behind but it's okay, I have Sylvia, Black Diamond, Rogers, Rice, Kaish T, Black CEO, Rambo, Lisa and Cassandra. That's enough to make a statement. Are you supposed to be his blood brother? And to me, uh, how is that? You, his blood brother, knowing uh, all that he's up against, he's up against, and you're going on the Lifetime docuseries, not one, but two. If I'm correct, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. If I'm correct, put a one in the chat. He's been on not one Dr. Series, but he's been on two. If I'm correct, put a one in the chat. If I'm not, put a two in the chat. Yeah, we're about to air some things out. And uh, we all know that Lifetime uh, doesn't. Uh, so it says, he set me up. Our Kelly brother says, Singer secretly taped him having a threesome, right? Now, these are not my words. So if anybody mad at this video right now, I suggest you get out your feelings. I will reach my hand out to you, or to you, or to you. Wherever you may at, I'm going to reach my hand out to you, and I'm going to grab you, and I'm going to help you out your feelings today. Okay? So I'm going to extend one hand to anybody want to, if I need to help you out your feelings, I don't know which hand you should, I give you the left hand. I'm, I want to help you out your feelings and you tell me, why should I listen to a message that's sent by his brother who says this about his incarcerated? I was brought into this R. Kelly saga to distract the real Kells supporters and keep the drama going. So far I am doing a great job. On the side I occasionally drive Uber and DJ I am not good at any job I do but it's not me, it's everyone else. 
Yeah, I don't like giving myself accolades but y'all in the chat. Ain't I the best that done did it? Hello, is this the Uber driver? Hello. Is this my Uber driver? This is Janet. Yes, I drive Uber occasionally. While in your car last night, I left my bag which had my ID and money in it. I know it was your car because it smelled like chicken. The car was dirty and I was rushing to get out. I tried to call Uber right back but when they routed the call to you it first went to voicemail. I called back and I heard snoring in the background. I didn't find any bag. During my ride from downtown Houston to the suburbs, you kept talking about cash apps and R. Kelly. You also mentioned D and D when I asked you who that was. You said DJ and Diabowski. I don't know what kind of breakup you are going through but that seemed to be the only thing on your mind. I am going to call Uber and get a refund on my trip. I might have been thinking about my little bro that I no longer rock with. You were unprofessional, your nails had dirt in them and you also was driving recklessly. I apologize for not giving you a pleasant ride. I will rate you in the app based on my Uber experience in your car. It felt like you were living in your car. Very creepy. I am so sorry you feel that way. Today we will be listening to some audio from GJ Poison and try to decode his message to his subs. People think when I say Christian thug, I'm dead serious. I will cuss you out, pray for you, ask for forgiveness, all in the same breath. And I didn't say this on YouTube, and I said it on Facebook. First of all, there is no such thing as a Christian thug. Show me where it says that in the Bible. Why is it that you only think God forgives you and not others? Why do you threaten people but get upset when they react? And just because I'm not one of these individuals that don't broadcast my life through social media, Or whenever God want to use me uh, for a vessel as a testimony, don't mean I've never been remorseful. So I don't have to get on the internet to try to prove anything to people that don't even know my God, and let alone that ain't God, that isn't God, because there's only one God. And as long as I know that I ask for forgiveness from God, for everything, he is the one that forgives. That's all I need. I don't need nobody else. And when God knows I've been remorseful, spiritually and emotionally, it's not for me to get on the internet to prove anything to a lot of people that don't even know God. And I orchestrated the operates. People think when I say Christian thug, I'm dead serious. DJ, you do broadcast your life through social media. You only show what you want people to see. You don't show the drugs and drinking. You don't show the looking up of people's records. You don't show your conversations with other bloggers to attack who you want them to. Why is it okay for you to do what you want on your channel but try to restrict what others do? On the channel I write cartoons, I do my commentary on GJ Poison, but if that is not you then why get upset? You just gave a woman an Uber drive the other day and let social media get mixed up in what you were doing. You were the cause of one of your subs and offline friends being contacted by their school district where they work. They claimed they were defending you. Although they were not relieved of their duties, they could have been. It would have been your fault. 
I don't know who contacted the woman's place of employment, but it feels good to have people who have your back no matter what. Thank you to my subscribers for rocking with me and having Classy J's back. Last but not least why did you bring Dabowski's personal business onto your platform? What did you get out of it? All you ended up doing is exploiting a young lady for something that was supposed to be private. When you brought nobody to your platform to talk about a one-night stand she had with Debo, you were at an all-time low. People are seeing you for the fraud that you are and they won't stop until they make an honest man out of you. In other news Bruce and Carrie are going to decline the offer from DJ to unite for Kells. They see and know the fraud that he is and that he is a poisonous snake. There is no God in him. He is the devil in the flesh. Instead Bruce and Carrie are going to continue their fight with the real ones who they have been working with. They will bring that to the forefront soon. They will not associate themselves with YTF or anyone who claims to be for Rob and have aided the authorities in not granting a bond. So stop trying to hold me to some standard that I'm not going to ever reach. I'm never going to reach your standard. You know why? Because I slapped the shit out of motherfucker very fast. I'm a product of my environment. Okay. That's for your ticket, and I guess everything that you know. What what time is that? Is that Central Time? What what does not mean the enemy is still okay. Earth stop. Uh, Appreciate you. Uh, does not mean the enemy is still not going to be busy. I don't care how much they go and think uh, they can sabotage my name. My name uh, is blessed. So all that stuff they keep doing is it ain't nothing but a replay of Dana J. So nah, that's that out. Okay, so that's me too. Uh, let me get a check in the uh, uh, and so uh, why did they come in this fight for Robert Sylvester Kelly in the first place? Because the injustice of this black man, God. And you see everything that folds around this whole R. Kelly situation out the enemy has been out uh, still. Here and destroy.